Jackie Moore, owner operator of Joplin Regional Stockyards. Well, you know, the one thing that I've always been aware of and what you need, I try to drive home to all my producers is, it's all about making money. Because, you know, it's like I've told a lot of people that, you know, the cattle business is a struggle. It has been my entire life. So you need to do whatever it takes to add value to those calves. And the number one thing way to do that is with uniformity and color and to add pounds to them. And the best way to go about doing that is use the Charlotte Bull on any colored cow. You get uniform and color and you get a lot of growth. So if there's one thing that I'd like to drive home to all those people out there that's in the cow business is that, you know, it's about making money and it's about uniformity and the way to do that is with a Charlotte Bull on any colored cow. You get extra pounds and you get uniformity. Well, uh, you know, through the years, I've been around here a long time, since 1977. And, you know, the Charolais breed has come a country mile, right along with all the other breeds. But, you know, back in that time period, and we still have a little bit of reluctancy to sometimes with some of our cow-calf guys, is because they, they think that their cows can't have a Charolais calf. But, you know, the, the breed has done such a great job with all those things, with the, with the calving part of their, of their uh, genetics that, you know, it's not a problem to this day and time. So, you know, what the, the Charlotte people need to do is just drive home, you know. These cows can have these Charlotte calves. There ain't a problem at this day and time. Back in the day, in the, in the early 70s, late 60s, at that time, there was a problem, but, it's, but they've come so far and, and, and with those uh, easy calving bulls that it's not a problem at all.